While editing, you may encounter text that appears initial capped when you want it to appear in all lowercase. Even if the word is defined in all lowercase, if the word appears at the beginning of a paragraph, or after a period, question mark, or colon, the first letter of the word will automatically initial cap. To prevent a word from automatically initial capping in these situations, you will add the uncap next format symbol. You can insert the format symbol directly into text or include it in a dictionary definition. See how the word and is capped after Mr? The period at the end of Mr is causing the A in and to be initial capped. If you wish to fix it in this one spot, just position the cursor at the beginning of the word to be uncapped, and press F4, F5. As you can see, pressing F4, F5 inserts the uncapped next format symbol and produces the results you want. However, whenever possible, it is always more efficient to define something in a dictionary than to fix it in one spot. So the next job will translate more accurately and require less editing. For example, at the beginning of this paragraph, the word iPhone is initial capped. The letter I in the brand name iPhone should always appear as a lowercase i. Therefore, it makes sense to define the steno for iPhone with the command to ensure that the I will always be uncapped, regardless of the position in the sentence. I'll dedefine the steno for iPhone and add the uncapped next format symbol once again by pressing F4, F5 before the I in iPhone. In all future jobs where the steno for iPhone is written, there will never again be a need to proofread for or worry about fixing the case of the I in iPhone.